everyone and welcome to TH Creations. We're here to elevate your edible game. So this is the th <laughs> you ready? All right. Tonight we're going to be making the third video of our infusion series. Give me a drink. Give me a drink. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. okay. We're going to put it in the skillet and we're going to kill it tonight. It's going to be the frying pan can of butter infusion. The old school way, I'm sure the pioneers were doing it back in the day, and you can do it even yourself with no electricity when you're camping. In this video, we're using an ounce to one pound of butter. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna preheat that oven. You never wanna be sitting waiting behind for that. Today, we're going a little hotter with things. We're going 265, but we're going a shorter time on the decarb. I kind of want to speed the process up. I want to break the nugs up pretty fine. Not too small, but you don't want them gigantic. If you choose, you can use a, a hand grinder, but be using that coffee grinder because it'll turn to dust. You don't want that. We're going to get a layer of tin foil. I'm going to place that on top. Cover it and toss that in the oven. Putting that timer on for about 22 minutes. 23. Man, that bud smells good. I've let this cool for about 15 minutes after it's come out of the oven so it can come to at least room temperature. I'm gonna unwrap it and have a look. So that's an absolute perfect decarb. I couldn't have asked for one any better than this. Smells like heaven. You'll see the bud has just gone like a light golden brown. It's not been burnt. So once your weed's been uh, decarbed, cooled to room temperature, I throw it in the freezer and this is how you're gonna get that fast infusion. The trichromes are cold sensitive so they'll fall right off and absorb into that butter in the frying pan so much quicker. Look at this guy. I'm gonna be feeling like him pretty soon. When you're infusing and you're doing it on a frying pan, never use Teflon because Teflon to begin with is poison. Okay, so while I get this butter melted, I'm not going to rush anything. I'm not putting it past low chill heat, so it's going to allow the fat to push out of the, the butter and not turn it to ghee. Liquefied butter. Now it's been in the freezer for the eight minutes, you can hear how straight up crunch it is. You saw that cloud of THC fly right out. Quickest, fastest way to absorb that THC. I'm gonna be doing this infusion for approximately no more than two hours. You wanna stir this consistently every five to 10 minutes. Touch the nugs a little bit. Squish them if you want, don't be scared of it. Because if you forget about it, you have an opportunity for it to burn but also if you give it the love and the care, it'll be giving it back to you in return. My nugs have not gone to crunchy. They still have moisture in them and spongy because I haven't gone over the temperature to fry them. So we've had this been going on the frying pan for two hours now, stirring it constantly every five minutes. And uh, we're going to allow it to, to cool the room temperature for about 5 to 15 minutes and then we're going to strain it. So this is our strainer tonight. You know what I mean? You want to have that cheesecloth on deck all the time. And tonight, I forgot about it, but it's a personal batch. And I don't really care about the extra can of butter, cannabis matter in it. Always use cheesecloth to filter out your cannabis from your infusion. Do you have a mashed potato thing? Coming out. So this is the final product of the third episode of the infusion series. Quick as can be, on the fastest method I could do on the frying pan. You're gonna lose about 25 to 30 percent of your THC content going directly in the frying pan and not separating your cannabis and your, your matter away from the heat. So I've allowed this to, to chill the room temperature. Now it's not hot, I can put it in the fridge. It won't go sour, it won't change the, the taste of the butter. And I'm gonna let this solidify overnight and then I'll be ready to make my recipes. This is TH Creations here to elevate your edible game. 
Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment for more content you'd like to see. Now this is the fastest technique I could ever show you on the frying pan. Mm -hmm.